Hello, welcome back to Call Java Tutorial Part 6. In the previous part, you already see how to save a Java program that contains only one class. In this part of this tutorial, I am going to explain how to save a Java program that contains multiple classes. Here I am going to demonstrate what are the rules for saving a Java program that contain more than one classes. Here is the rules. If the program contain multiple classes you can save the program in any file name any valid file name so if there is only if there is multiple classes present in the program and none of the class is public then you have to follow the same procedure as described in the previous the previous rule that means a class contain only one uh, the program containing only one class so here is the fourth rule if one of the class is public then it is then you must save the program with the file name same as the name of the public class that is rule for saving a program that containing multiple classes if there is more than one class present in a program and if there is no public class present you have to the program in any valid file name and you have to compile the program by using that file name and you have to run the program with the name of the class that contain you can run the program using name of the class that contain that contains the main method that is a rule also if there is more than one class present and one of these classes is public then you have to you must save the program with a file name that same as the name of that public class so in order to getting more idea about these rules you have to I am going to explain all of these rules by with the help of an example so here is the previous example that I already explained in the previous part of this tutorial here only one class is present so here I am going to create one more class called second class that class also containing a method called public void demo demo2 It also displays a message, a simple message. Demo two method. So here you can see in this program there are two classes present. First one is the first class and other one is the second class. The first class contain a method and the public and the main method second class containing a simple method called demo2 
so here I am going to link these two classes by means of objects so now I am going to create an object of this second class in inside the main method second class second is equal to new second class okay now I am going to call the method inside that class in the inside the second class by using that object second dot demo to we can see the name of the file is demo program here the first class name is first class and second class name is the second class that means there is no relationship between the name of the file name and the class name so now I am going to save this file again and now I am going to compile this program so the file name is java c demo program dot java and see the program successfully compiled now I run the program sorry run by using the class name java first class you can see here is the output that means the two classes are opened classes are invoked and output is obtained let us again go to a closer look of this program here you can see two classes are present I save the file with name demo program and I run this program using first class that is the rule that I already dis I already explained if a class contain if a program contain multiple classes and uh, if there is only if there is no public class is present then you have to save the program in any valid file name if you want to run that program then you have to run the program by using the name of the class that containing the main method here the main method is present here the main method is present inside the first class that's why I am uh, I use Java first class for running this program so now I'm going to make this class public I use an access specifier public for the first class that class contain the main method and that class is public now again I save the program now here you can see the now the file name is demo program and the name of the public class is pub first class also there is another class present second class the main method is present in the first class now again I am going to compile the program using that file name java c demo program dot java you can see demo program error class first class is public should be declared in a file named first class dot java that means the compiler will provide an error you will provide an error to you that explain first class is a public class and you must save this file name with the name of that class so in order to compile this program I have to rename this folder rename this file so now I am going to rename it so in order to compile this program I have to rename this file with the name of that public class so the public class is first class dot java I save it now again I am going to compile this program sorry here now the file name is java c first class dot java now you can see that now the file is now this program is successfully compiled without an error now I run this program
okay now you can see the output is obtained perfectly again now again let let's take a closer look of this program in this program there are two classes are plus and first class and second class so first one of these classes that means this program contain multiple classes and one of the class is public so in order to save this program or compile this program I have to save this file with name of the public class that's why I save this program by using the name of that public class okay guys that, that, uh, that is the which are, which are the rules for saving a program if a program contain only one class you have to save the program in any appropriate file name if and compile the program using that file name and run the program using the name of that class if a program contain multiple classes you have to save the program in any file file name and run the program compile the program by using that file name and you have to run the program by using the name of the class that containing the main method and if a program contain multiple classes and one of that class is public then you have to save that program in name of the you have to save the, that program in a file name with the same name as the public class and you have to run the program by using the name of that public class ok guys that enough for this section for more updates for more video updates on java tutorial you have to subscribe my channel thank you for watching see you in the next part of this tutorial